finding advice on how to make your podcast better is easy. Knowing what advice to take and what to ignore is trickier. Before implementing any advice, take a close look at the agenda behind that advice. Hello and welcome to another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. Your agenda is not my agenda. Sorry, but it's not. Yeah, we both want to make podcasting, the entirety of podcasting, better. That's an agenda we do share. And there are likely other shared agendas between us because we're good and decent people as well as we are podcasters. But your agenda with your podcast is not the same agenda I have with this podcast. Now, I recognize that, and it's one of the main reasons I try not to give the how-to information out there with hard and fast rules. I mean, yeah, I've done the podcasting thing for, what, going on 20 years now? But podcasting has evolved into disparate factions that in, across that entire time. And, and while there remain some similarities, a lot of similarities, across all of podcasting, from production to, to publishing... The vagaries that are unique to each niche are causing differences between those factions to become more and more pronounced. And my agenda, just in case it needs to be stated clearly, is to keep you listening or reading or watching with the hopes that you might tell a friend and even maybe become a supporting member of mine. Now, to get those things... I have to give you valuable information that you can take back into your podcasting life. But do I have just the trick so you can create a hard-hitting investigative reporting series that captures the hearts and minds of millions of listeners? No, I've, I've never done that. So that's why I don't give advice on that. And you shouldn't come looking to me for that advice, nor should you seek out the advice from any other long-time podcaster, or even podcast consultants who have not done that. Choose to get advice from the people who have the very same specific agenda as you do. Because close enough probably isn't close enough anymore. Now, your agenda also isn't the same as your podcast hosting company's agenda. Sorry, but it's not. Sure, they want your show to be successful, but they want all of their users' shows to be successful. For the 10 to 20 bucks you pay them every month, they can't afford to give you super specific tips and tricks that are perfect for your show. Their agenda is based on keeping not just you as a client, but keeping thousands of other people as clients, as well as finding thousands of new people to become clients all so they can keep their business in business. So when they create advice-based content, they do it with their own agenda in mind. So before you refactor your entire show to fit the most recent advice published by your or maybe a competitive hosting company, remember that it wasn't written specifically for you. And the advice may not work for you and your agenda at all. Your agenda also isn't the same as the agenda held by a podcast listening app. Sorry, again, but it's not. Yes, that app wants more people to listen to your show, but only if that happens on their app. And yeah, they're going to give you a maybe a nifty-looking badge or an easy link to share that looks great when it's shared on social media. But what they want more than anything is to get more people using their app switching away from other apps as much as they can. I know they might showcase plenty of success stories from other podcasters who followed the playbook provided by the app and then seen massive success, but the success they, the app, cares most about is the number of people using the app, not listening to that particular podcast. Now, none of that is to say that everyone has a different agenda than you have for your show. There are likely some other entities who are incredibly aligned with the agenda you have for your show because you have shared agendas. Ad representation firms are one example. They want your show to get as much ad revenue as possible because they take a percentage of that ad revenue. When you do better, they do better. So yes, it's very likely 
that any advice you're going to get from your ad rep firm, be they placing programmatic ads or live host reads, whatever, I think those will closely align with your agenda. Also, the people you select to help you keep your podcast running, another great example. That's a great example where agendas align, assuming you're paying them or giving them some sort of an upside, which you should be. When the show that they work on, your show, does well, they keep getting a reward with a paycheck or a bonus or some other truly tangible and valuable benefit. And then there's, well, that's actually about it, really. Entities who not only profit from your show, but have a vested ownership with all the risks and rewards are likely aligned to your agenda. So listen to them. Listen to others, sure, but listen most closely to those who you share. A <clears throat> but listen most closely to those who share your same agenda, podcaster. And with that, I shall be back next week with yet another podcast, Pontifications. Cheers. Cheers.